Hey there, it's Christy Pushki from CompletelyNourished.com and I just wanted to stop in today and talk to those of you who may want to stop eating so much processed foods but you're overwhelmed and you don't know where to start and what to do and you have no idea how to cook or how to shop for additive free things. Ah, so you just don't even start because you don't even know what to do. Well, I'm here to tell you that's just an excuse so stop making excuses and start getting started and the way to start is to just start somewhere pick something and start making it and start practicing in your kitchen and just tackle things one at a time. So I thought I'd give you one option of a place to start would be to make a simple homemade additive free salad dressing. Now my hands are kind of busy because I'm holding my camera here so I'm not going to make the recipe right now but I will link to the recipe either above or below this video. So look around for that real quick so you'll know exactly how to make it. But I just wanted to show you how you can make some recipes with just simple ingredients that you could find at any old grocery store. So for this recipe, all you're going to need is extra virgin olive oil. Yours doesn't have to look like this. It could look like anything. It could be organic or not organic. I would prefer it is, but mine happens not to be at the time. So see, even I don't eat 100% organic. I'm traveling around full time in my RV and I don't always have access to organic and sometimes I don't have the money <laughs> to buy everything organic. So this is just extra virgin olive oil. Make sure that's the only ingredient in it, which it is. And then we've got apple cider vinegar. Yours may look like this, it may not. I got this at Whole Foods or a natural food store. This is a raw, organic brand of apple cider vinegar, but if you can even just find plain old apple cider vinegar that's not raw organic, then you could use that too. But what you do want to be careful about is all the additives. So make sure you read the ingredients label and that's all that's in there is apple cider vinegar and water. Some of the brands, you'll turn them around and they'll say things like caramel color, and um, and natural flavoring because what they're doing is they're making vinegar out of corn instead of apples and then they're flavoring it and coloring it to taste and look like apple cider vinegar. Ridiculous, right? And those usually, if you look carefully on the front, they will say apple cider flavored vinegar and flavored will be all in italics and everything, hoping that you don't notice it, I guess. But it makes it cheaper because corn is cheaper than apples to make vinegar out of, but they're ripping you off and they're putting additives in there to make you think that you're eating apple cider vinegar. So make sure you turn the bottle around and read ingredients and that it only says apple cider vinegar and water. All right, next ingredient, honey. I prefer raw honey from a local farmer. I just didn't have access to that right now. So I grabbed this at Costco, this big old jug of honey, but you want to make sure that it really is honey. You'll find like honey flavored toppings and all sorts of weird things. So when you're in the honey aisle, if you're just getting it at the regular grocery store, make sure you turn it around and look at the ingredients label and that it just says honey. All right, simple. Then everything left is just dry spices. So oregano, mine happens to be organic because I was near Costco and got this big old container. Um, but when this runs out very soon, who knows if it's going to be organic or not. It depends which stores I'm near. So dried oregano, you can find this in any spice aisle at any store. And I've never seen any kind of additives in it. It's just oregano. Dried oregano leaves. Same with garlic. I've never seen any additives in this. This happens to be organic frontier brand. But again, once I run out, who knows what I'm going to have. So organic or not, whatever. You can find this at a regular grocery store. Just dried garlic. Garlic granules is what I like as opposed to powder. That's what my measurements are for in my recipes. But get whatever you can. Again, any spice aisle at any grocery store will have this. Next up, black pepper. Just ground up black pepper. Never seen any additives in this either, so grab whichever one you like. I happen to like freshly ground black pepper, so I've got this fancy little grinder and everything, but you can use the stuff that's already ground up nice and easy. Um, and in here, I just have salt, uh, which you also want to make sure that your salt is just salt. They put anti-caking agents and all sorts of crap in salt, too. So turn it around and look for one where the ingredients label says just sea salt and nothing else. All right, so that's the ingredients. Again, look above or below around this video somewhere and I will post a link to the actual recipe so you know how much to use. Um, and also, I love getting things in glass containers. I love to keep them once they're empty because then it makes a great storage container to put the salad dressing in. So um, you don't wanna have to store it in a bowl and be scooping it out and stuff, it's great. Or if you have old salad dressing containers from your current commercial salad dressings or any other kind of ketchup containers, whatever, hold on to them and you can use them to store your new healthy homemade salad dressings. All right, so I hope this helps. Again, the recipe will be posted somewhere around this video. 
Um, it's also in my cookbook along with all sorts of all if you enjoy all these tips I was giving you about what to look for in ingredients and you would like a shortcut on everything else that you're gonna have to buy in the grocery store then grab a copy of my eating additive free natural cookbook and grocery shopping guide it's available through my website as an ebook or a hard copy and there are over 150 natural recipes in here that I spent years creating, developing, and taste testing with kids and everything else, so I know that they're delicious. There's also a 40-page grocery shopping guide that's going to tell you all the kinds of stuff like I was just telling you, so you don't go through the trouble to make your own homemade versions of things and accidentally be buying ingredients that are full of additives, because that would defeat the purpose, right? So if you want to save yourself a lot of time and energy, grab a copy of this book, ebook or hard copy, and as you can see, this is a hefty book. Like, it's a one-inch binder. This is not like kid stuff. This is not some flimsy little 20 page ebook. This is this is a kit. This is a kit to teach you how to shop for and prepare natural additive free foods so you can get started and stop feeling overwhelmed and I show you exactly what you need to do right here in this book. But don't just run out and buy it. First, go and try my recipe that I'm posting above or below this video and make sure you like it. Make sure I'm right that my recipes are tasty and make sure that you can easily follow my advice at the grocery store and find the ingredients that you need. So this is kind of like a little a little taste test and a little trial run. And if you like the results here, then make sure you get a copy of my book.